My talk is on professional moldiness. Anyone who knows me will know that you can't understand the word I say most of the time. That's right? because I am kind of a professional northerner, professionalist, not much of a northerner, but I am a proper northerner. I call it bread cakes, bread cakes, and I have my dinner, I don't have a lunch. People who work me all know. So where is the north? Well, the north is definitely not here. See, this is potentially the Watford Gap, not too accurate, but it's, that's definitely not the north. Without a doubt, anyone who says that that's the north is completely wrong, to be honest. Um, and it, I'm not sure about this bit, the people say it's the north, but I don't think that's the north, to be honest. It's the north east, it's a different breed up there. <laughs> they do things with, with potentially with, with monkeys that we thought were terrorists and things, and that's, that's a bit wrong, and they don't wear shirts. Um, it's not right. But here it is. <laughs> this is definitely the north. It's, and, it, and it's definitely this side pretty much as well. <laughs> that, that's, that's another weird place where it rains a lot. Um, we'll come on to that in a bit. Um, <laughs> But it's, it, yeah, so what is professional over Well, it's not this soft blow. <laughs> not really sure what he is, but he's, he's, he's not an ordinary. He may be professional, professional something. Where's his pint? Where's his bacon sandwich? Flat cap, whip it. So what makes a professional ordinary? Well, there's, there's, there's a, a range of different things. Um, it, it, but I'll be born in the North for a start. You have to be pretty, from, as far as I'm concerned, from Sheffield. But Leeds, hey. Leeds is alright, thank you. Um, but it, it's, it's a different thing, so I've, I've listed them. So basically you have to be miserable, that's a, that's a good one. Pretty independent, we're from Yorkshire. We like, we like to think, he's got his own accounts, we like this. Um, articulate, well, as you can probably see, I'm not that articulate, you know, so maybe I don't fit that one. Um, argumentative, as, as we know, as unfortunately Mike Chitty's not here. No, but we're not! Everyone, everyone, yes you are! I've got Mike Chitty. Um, pretty political, artistic, and this is the big one. They're pretty male, because in all honesty, most women are oh, don't think they're professional others. So we who are the candidates? I've picked out a few. Don't know where you can see people we've got here, but this is a your typical sample of who, who, who I'm picking as my professional northerners. Um, so everyone's got different opinions. This one, Jimmy Savile. Now, he's from the north, but, and he's professional. Professional what? I'm not sure. A person who presents a children's TV show who says he hates children. Um, that's not right, is it really? Um, I saw him around me part of the other day and he, he, he's looking to be like Brian Blessed. Now a lot of people might not think that he's, he's from Yorkshire and he's from, he's from the North. Does anyone, anyone know what, what, the, what his famous phrase is from Flash Gordon? Be Brian Blessed and not him. <laughs> Close. Not, not quite. Hi. Um, this is it's from Manchester. This is Marky Smith for those who don't know. He's definitely miserable. Definitely kind of artist, art, articulate, artistic, he shouts at you a lot, but he's from Manchester, so sorry Mark. <laughs> Morrissey again, yeah, artistic, articulate, a bit political, a bit funny to be fair, um, likes daffodils, Manchester again, it rains over there a lot. Not sure, I, I, I like Morrissey, I love him, but he's not a professional nobler as far as I'm concerned, I don't think he lives in Manchester like that. David Hockney, um, professional nobler, definitely, from around these parts, galleries everywhere, but he spent a lot of time in America. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, really. He spent a lot of time in America. Sorry, David, love your heart, but in America. Now, Yay. again, great professional northern, but he spent a lot of time down south. <laughs> he, went to, he went to Oxbridge and stuff like that, and he, he knew Dudley Moore and people, and he's definitely a southerner, so for me, he's not a professional northern, sorry. Now Paul Heaton, um, that is, he's doing well, but unfortunately he's from Hull. <laughs> um, he has one redeeming fact, he's a Sheffield United fan, so that's alright. Um, very political, help, uh, yeah, he's, he's not far off, but that whole thing was it. Now Sean Bean, one for the ladies. Um, he's from Sheffield, so that works for me. He's got 100% blade tattoo on his arm, that works for me again. But, I don't know, he's, he's, he's more a fake normal for me. He, he makes a career out of it, he's not a proper number. That Jarvis. Jarvis is, is, is pretty much, he's, he's getting close to being the perfect northerner. He's from Sheffield. He sings in a band, he has his own radio show. He's just great, isn't he? Everyone loves Jarvis. Yeah. He, how can you not? Anyone who like Jarvis can get out now. <laughs> now, my, this is my, this is my northerner. And it's Brian Glover. <laughs> now, Brian Glover um, started out as a, as a teacher. In, in, he was born in Sheffield. Raised in Barnsley, but he was, he was a teacher, and as anyone who's seen Kes will know. Do you think you're a bully monkey, Richard? Hey, I do, I do, right. And I'll just try and quickly rattle through some of his achievements. 
Uh, he is dead. Yeah, she's right. Somebody shouts, he is dead, yeah. Um, I mean, he, he, this man was in, he was in all sorts of things, and he's just a miserable song. So thank you so much. <laughs>